Hey, my friends, this is Sylvie Curry, Lady of Cube. And once again, I'm in my kitchen. Today, I'm not going to be doing any cooking. This is a video solely just to bring you a public service announcement or just to alert people about varying things. What? You say, what is it I'm going to alert you about? Let me first by saying that I love cooking in a nice, clean kitchen. Surfaces are clean, everything is organized and in its place, and that's just the way I operate. There's nothing more disrupting to me than to walk into a kitchen and everything is all over a place, and you're trying to figure out, where do I start? So number one, I like to start with a clean, organized kitchen. This is a be courteous to the primary cook in your kitchen. Here we go. One of the most annoying things to me in the kitchen is when people go to the cabinet, open up, walk away, and just leave them open. To me, that's, you know, something that's easy to fix. Just when you open the cabinet, cabinet, take out what you want, close the door. Very simple. I have a dishwasher in my kitchen. And for the last many, many years, I've always had a dishwasher. And I don't use it. The only thing that gets cleaned in my dishwasher are my candy jars. I'll put them in there to get sanitized. I don't put regular dishes in there from the days and things like that. And let me tell you why. Growing up in this household, my kids, were one of those who would go to the dishwasher and no matter whether or not it was clean or dirty, dirty dishes always went in, clean dishes never came out. So it became very frustrating to me to run the dishwasher, have clean dishes in there, and before I could take the dishes out of there that are clean or someone else can take the dishes out of there, dirty dishes have been placed. And so I just made a rule that I'll just wash all the dishes as I go, which is what I do. One of the other things that causes me a lot of annoyance in my kitchen is when people eat and they leave all of their dirty dishes on the kitchen table or on the counter on the island, walk away and go off and do their thing, and they just leave them there. Simply taking those dirty dishes, taking them over to the sink, not necessarily even having to put them in the sink, but just on the counter next to the sink would be of help. Thank you. It's very simple to tighten the caps on jars. You open it up, you use whatever's in there, take out what you want, put the cap on, and screw it tight. Nothing is more frustrating to go into the refrigerator and pick up a jar only to have the cap come off, or maybe it's partially screwed, you pick it up and the jar drops on the floor. Tighten all those containers, please. Thank you. Everybody likes fresh, crisp potato chips, tortilla chips. So when you open the bag and you're finished munching on it, close it up, please. Nothing worse than going to the pantry and finding a bag of chips that's been left open for however long. A couple ways you can do it. You can fold it up. And I have these little clips that I just put on the container and that preserves it a while. Or I say for a bag of chips like this, you can also just turn the top around, put a rubber band on it, or even put one of these clips on it also. Save you a lot of frustration and keep you away from a lot of stale chips. Another announcement. You go to these big box stores and you buy containers that have multiple bags of something. It could be chips, it could be crackers, it could be anything. Frustrating is to go and open one bag, munch out of it, put it back in, and then later on, you go back and you find that the second bag has been opened. 
Now we have two unopened bags with the possibility of both going still. <sighs> Who empties the trash can? Nothing more frustrating than having a trash can in the kitchen that everyone just comes and just puts trash upon trash in it and pushes it down, more trash, trying to see how much that trash bag can hold. Very simple, just take the bag and close it off, take it to the big trash can outside and be through with it. Then you don't have to worry about pushing on garbage and trash. Public service announcement. Have you ever walked into your kitchen in the morning after you cleaned it up the night before and you find open containers of things with, which are labeled refrigerate after opening and they're still laying on the counter? Then you say, you know, how good is it? Can I put it in the refrigerator? How long has it been unopened here on the counter? Nine times out of ten, it's going to be something that can be refrigerated, you know, something like a jar of pickles or something like that, a jar of olives, peanut butter, things like that. But in some cases, there are things which, if left overnight unrefrigerated, could go bad. Pay attention to the labels. Please do not leave refrigerated items out. Put them back in the refrigerator. And remember to cap it off right. You got a glass filled with some type of liquid be it water, be it juice, whatever. And for some reason, a little bit spills on the floor. Nine times out of 10, you think, I need to go and wipe that up because it's gonna leave a puddle there that somebody may slip on or just may dirty the floor. Anyway, common sense, clean it up. Well, I know some who will just, oops, just walk away from it. Please clean up your spills. Thank you. Most often in our home, we use paper plates. And this is something that sort of evolved over time. And for no particular reason, there was a time we did some remodeling, so we had to use paper plates. And we just stayed with the habit of it. Well, there are some people who refuse to eat off of a paper plate. They think that it affects the environment and it's just, a waste. Yeah, it is. Those same people are the ones who will go and grab a regular plate, eat off of it, and leave it on the counter. Or they'll take it and leave it on the kitchen counter next to the sink without washing it. And it's like the frustration is, if you're going to use a non-paper plate, a regular plate, wash it. Thank you. I know of a case where a person living in the household will only wash their dishes. So no matter what, if the cook cooks food for everybody and it's all there for you all to eat, this person will take their plate, the regular plate, and just wash it and not assist in washing all the other dishes that are around or even volunteering to help. Uh, courtesy would say that, you know, if you're eating in the kitchen and food is being prepared and you're able to consume it, please help out and do your share and help clean up everything else that's in that kitchen and not just your single plate. You know who. I mentioned before that I'm a very organized person. Everything is in their place. When I go to get something, I know where it's supposed to be. I open that drawer, this knife is in that drawer. I open another drawer, I know that whatever it is that I'm going to get is gonna be in its place. Any cabinet, I know where it is because I put everything back where it came from. Nothing more frustrating than to go look for something and it's not there. And you look all over, it's not in the sink, it's not anywhere. And then you have to go through every drawer to try to find out where is it. Please put things back where they go. I've got a lot of cabinet space here in my kitchen, so there are a lot of places where a spice jar can be or a condiment jar can be. 
However, if you know that you went to a certain place to get it, also know that you need to go to that same place and put it back. Thank you.